Shh, Jack. Is she changed? What? What's that? Shh. Making a speech. Um, I just wanted to thank everybody for coming. I've just written a few words on my phone, so bear with me. Um, thank you for coming to celebrate the birth of our daughter, Mia Josephine Salvato. Um, there's no formal aspect to um, Mia's naming day. It's primarily an opportunity for everyone who hasn't met, met her to have some cuddles and those that have to get some more cuddles and kisses in. Um, and we thought a great way to do that would be with food, of course. So uh, we hope you're enjoying it. It's traditional on a naming day, which I found when I was researching it to be uh, more of an Australian and English thing. Um, uh, and they have certain traditions. And one is to define the name of uh, the baby. And of course, Mia, um, we'll start with. So it seems that it has mixed origins and partly Hebrew, and others say that it's an Egyptian name, meaning Mer, uh, called Mer, meaning beloved, and is also possibly the most common form, Italian, um, which of course is my. And um, something that I found out to be quite interesting is that it also has some Slovakian origins which is um, kind of ironic because my grandfather on my mum's side um, was from the Czech Republic, uh, Czechoslovakia back then, so that's, that's quite cool. Um, famous Mias include Mia St. John, who pioneered women's boxing, uh, Mia Farrow, the famous actress, and Mia Anderson, 20th century writer. So maybe we have a little writer or even an athlete in the midst here. Now her middle name, Josephine, of course, was chosen in memory of her great-grandmother, um, uh, Josephine Mingoni, and we hope that our little Josie has some of her best attributes, like her calm demeanor, her kind temperament, and those funny faces that she used to pull. Um, although, if the early days are anything to go by, she's a bit of a grouch. <laughs> she's a bit grumpy um, and really calm, but who knows. <laughs> Um, and it's true what they say, that babies really do turn your world upside down. Um, with the sleep deprivation that's so bad you don't know what day of the week it is. Um, the endless diaper changes and the feeds at hours of the night I thought I'd left behind me. But um, uh, one thing is for sure, uh, it certainly catapults you instantly into becoming parents, of course. And with this new life, who's completely and utterly dependent on you, there's no instruction manual, there's no uh, rules and no real way of really telling what she needs um, most of the time, where it hurts or um, there's a lot of worry that comes with um, wondering whether she's breathing uh, every seven and a half minutes, I think, I can check. Um, but with that comes this overwhelming love that we feel for her and, and complete infatuation um, for this new little monkey in our lives. Um, with her cute little cooing, which she's, she's kind of grumbling right now, but cute cooing and her infectious giggles and the smiles she's already giving us. I speak for both Chris and myself when we say our hearts are overflowing for the love that we feel for her and we couldn't be more proud to have um, a beautiful little girl. Um, So, Sharon, we can't wait for all your first to find out what you love and don't love so much and to support and guide you to becoming whatever you choose to be. So enjoy the food and don't forget to sign your teddy bear that we left at the front. And you're welcome, of course, to come back to ours afterwards. We're going to have tea and coffee if anybody wants to come back. And no, no obligation. So thank you again for coming. And I'm glad my mom and Megan and my niece can, can join us and, uh, and welcome Mia into the family.